What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Ark Dino builds and today we are taking a look at none other than the Mega Theorem and you can see these guys here in all their slothy gloriness, they look absolutely amazing. So we've got three builds for you guys today that are going to be utilizing the Mega Theoriums. so without further ado let's get into it. Now before we go off with the builds we're just going to quickly cover their abilities. Now Mega Theoriums have the ability to harvest wood, thatch, fiber, berries, uh, hide meat from any uh, dino corpses as well. We'll show you here shortly. Uh, they can also gather while running. There you go. You can see there we managed to get meat and hide from that trike. And they can also do like a little head bump thing. That does more damage than their actual swipe attack. However, they do have to stop moving for that attack. So that is something to consider as well. But it does deal a little bit more damage and it also hits in a wider radius. Okay, so their main primary ability that the Mega Theorems are known for is their ability to deal extra damage to bugs. Now, you saw previously against that trike, we are actually dealing, I think it was 110 damage. Against this Scorpion, we are actually dealing 173. And that is because the Mega Theorems have a passive damage boost against insect-type dinosaurs or creatures. So, Rainios, the Scorpions, Titanomaninas, the uh, Mega Neuras as well. All that is boosted and the Mega Theorem does extra damage to them. Now, once the Mega Theorem successfully kills a bug, you can see in the top right corner that we get a buff. Now, this buff is the Insect Killer, and this increases the Mega Theorem's damage by a whole heap of damage. This actually takes it up to a total of 250% to any target for 120 seconds, which is absolutely crazy. Now, this is including the multiplication of the 150% damage bonus from the Scorpion. So, you should see there. There we go. Look at how much damage we are dealing now. That is ridiculous. 433 damage, that's right how much damage we're doing. They just disappear straight off the map. It's ridiculous. Now, as well as this, the Mega Theorem is hands down the king of gathering Kaiden from the prey. As you can see here, we're going to harvest up this scorpion. Look at that, 163 Kaiden. Mind you, this guy is level 150 and he hasn't had any extra points pumped into melee damage as well. So do take that into mind. But that pretty much covers the Mega Theorem's abilities. So without further ado, let's get into some of the builds. Now, as I was saying previously, you get the bug killer bonus while killing bugs. And this first build is going to resolve around doing that. And this is the Chitin farming build. Now, for this build, you pretty much just want to pump a few points into health. Just enough for you to survive against whatever you're attacking. You know, mainly you'll be facing Scorpions, Araneos, Meganurias, uh, and the Titanias. You wouldn't worry too much about too much health into this. You mainly will be pumping melee damage. Like I said, you will be pumping up melee damage a lot. However, you can actually take this build a little bit further and use this same build to try and take on death worms and farm up death worms. Now, for that, if you do want to incorporate that into this build, do pump up the health a little bit more. You know, easily you get it up to 10k. 10k is plenty of health. Nothing will survive your Mega Ethereum attack. So, for example, we're going to summon in some scorpions here. Now, you can see these guys in front of us. Now, we'll currently take our damage back down to the 150% bonus, but now that we've got the buff, you can see there, that is nuts. Just how much damage you can pull off with Mega Theoriums. Once they get that bug killer buff with, and they're attacking insects as well, they're practically unstoppable. Now we're gonna summon in a death worm here. I'm not 100% sure if this will work. Um, and we'll show you just how well this build works against death worms because we've got that bug killer bonus, which is great. And because death worms spawn in the desert, there are plenty of scorpions around. There he is there, and we're going to show you just how much damage this guy can do. Look at that. We're dealing 529. Now, that is with our primary attack. Our secondary attack here does even more damage. 810 damage. It is a little bit slower than the claw attack, but it still does a crap ton of damage. And look at that. The death worm is just stun locked there. That's how much damage we are doing. It is ridiculously powerful, and the Mega Theorem is definitely one of the best bug killers to use, and I would definitely recommend using the Mega Theorem to take on death worms in the desert, because around the desert, there are plenty of Arthur Pleuras as well as Scorpions that you can use to get that bug killer bonus, and once you've pumped up your Mega Theorem in health and uh, melee damage, you're practically unstoppable when it comes to the death worms. So, that'll be our first build for today. Now, the second build that we will be showcasing to you guys is going to be the Harvester build. Now, you can see here that the Megatherium, he's a great Harvester. I love the Megatherium, he's one of my favorite dinosaurs, and he's just such a good Harvester for everything. You know, thatch, berries, fiber, wood, wood not so much, but 
you know, you just jump off and swing a pickaxe, uh, not a pickaxe, sorry, a hatchet. But he still manages to gather quite a decent amount of wood just by running around. But his berries gathering skills are definitely the things that shine here. So this build here is going to be the gatherer build. Now, for this build, first we're just going to drop all this. For this build, you don't really need to worry about health or stamina all that much. What you really need to worry about is melee damage, weight, and movement speed. You can pump a little bit of points into stamina, maybe take it up to 2k if you want. That's like 3 points into stamina. The rest you want to put evenly distributed into weight, melee damage, and a bit of movement speed. Because these are all going to be factors that allow you to gather resources a lot faster. You know, you can see here, you're easily able to get the Mega Ethereum up to 2k weight. The movement speed helps because you're able to move between nodes quicker. So, you know, you can easily just run between the berry bushes and gather more faster. And because you're able to run and use the poor attack, the swipe attack, this also increases the amount of time you spend gathering. And it makes it a lot easier for you to gather resources. You can see there, we're powering through this now. Just running through, grabbing all the berries. And if you do this in a location where there are tons of berries, for example, the yellow flowers located near the green obelisk, I believe on Ragnarok, you'll be gathering yourself a crap ton of berries from the surrounding sites. It's ridiculous how many berries you can gather in the short amount of time. Now, obviously, here isn't the best place to showcase this because, well, there aren't that many bushes around here, so it's not that great to showcase to you guys, but this is definitely a build I would recommend using because Megatheriums are great harvesters, they're great gatherers, they have plenty of base weight as well as melee damage, and they're just amazing harvesters. Alrighty, you can see there, look at all that thatch we got, and the fiber. So, that'll finish up this build. The final build is the one you guys are definitely going to be interested in. Alrighty, now this final build is none other than the Brood Mother Killer build. Now, with this build, you will mainly need to pump up health and melee damage. They will be your two main things. I would recommend getting your Mega Ethereum up at least 15k health. That would easily allow you to solo, not solo, but easily allow you to deal with the Broodmother and then pump the rest of the points into melee damage. You can, however, if you like and don't feel comfortable, pump the health of the Megatherium even more so, up to 20k. I personally don't think it needs to go that high, in uh, honest opinions. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to summon the Broodmother and showcase to you guys just how powerful the Megatherium is against her. Now, the reason the Megatherium is so powerful is because of its bug killer ability. All in all, with the extra bug killer damage and its regular passive boost, it actually gains a huge amount of a multiplier. This multiplier actually goes up to 375% for the Mega Ethereum, which is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to summon in the Broodmother and we're going to showcase to you guys just how much damage these two Mega Ethereums can do. Alrighty, and here's the Broodmother, you can see her just there. Now what's going to happen is she's actually going to spawn in her little babies, and we're going to deal a crap ton of damage. Now look at that, we've just done 707 damage without the Bug Killer boost. Now look at the amount of damage that we are doing with our Mega Ethereums. We are going to be hitting like an absolute truck. We still not have the Bug Killer boost. But the Mega Ethereums are easily capable of dealing with the smaller Rainios that spawn. We just need to get, there we go, now we're talking. So we've got the bug killer boost and you can see just how much damage we are dealing. 1700 damage. Now do take into mind that this is just with two Megatheriums, no healing dinos, no Udis. So not only will the Uteranus buff your Megatherium even more so, but the Dadons will actually sustain heal it and you can easily tank the Broodmother with three or four Mega Theorems with a Uteranus and a Daedon. I'm not even joking. Look at the swipes we're doing. Look at that. 1,800 points of damage. Now, these stats are official stats as well. The level up process is the same as official, so all this is the same. But you can see that if we do our secondary attack, where we just stand still and bump our heads down, we deal a lot more damage. 2,700 damage to be exact. This is the build you definitely want to invest in, especially for the Broodmother. Now, I'm not sure what level Broodmother this is, to be honest with you. Uh, it kind of just only gives you one option. I think this is just the main overall Broodmother. So we're not 100% sure, but look at our Megatherium. Our Megatherium itself hasn't taken much damage. We're at about 13k health, 12,500 health. And the Broodmother is easily like one fifth of the way down. So the uh, you definitely want to invest in this Broodmother build because it will save you a lot of time Make killing the Broodmother a lot easier for you, especially if you bring some Daedons, not even 
just one Daedon would be enough, and some Uteranuses, even one Uteranus. Now these guys are also mate boosted as well, so they deal even more damage. But if you had an army of about 3 or 4 Megatheriums, I can guarantee you'll easily be able to take on the easy Broodmother. Alrighty guys, well, that'll conclude today's video. Let me know what you thought of it down below, and let me know what you think of the Megatherium builds. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.